Hey guys, it's Kyle of the How To Guy One Two Three here, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install Windows XP in VirtualBox. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go down into the description below, and I'll have a link for VirtualBox. And if you don't have it already, so you just come down here to where it says Windows Host or it says VirtualBox Platform Packages, and you just download it for whatever operating system you're on. So whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux. I already have it downloaded and installed, so I'm not going to go through the installation process, but you, you pretty much install it like any other program. So the second link is going to be for our Windows XP professional ISO file. So just go down here and click on download. Now it's going to bring you to this page here. It just says Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses. I already went ahead and scanned it beforehand, and as far as I know, there are no viruses in this file. So just go ahead and click on download anyways and that's going to start your download. It's about 570 megabytes, so depending on your internet speed, it might take some time to download, so I'll be right back when this is done downloading. All right, so now that it's done downloading, I'm just gonna drag it onto my desktop just so I can access it easier. So now you're gonna need to extract the ISO file from the RAR here, and I'm gonna be using WinRAR to extract it, so you can use pretty much any uh, program to extract the file here, like 7-zip, and I'll leave a link for WinRAR in the description below as well if you don't have it. So basically all you gotta do is right click on it and then click on extract here and that's going to extract the ISO file onto our desktop here and there it is. So now we can go ahead and open up VirtualBox. Okay so now that VirtualBox is opened go ahead and click on the new button to create a new virtual machine. Now give it a name it can pretty much be whatever you want I'm just gonna call it window, Windows XP Tutorial and now under machine folder this is where all your VirtualBox files uh, all your virtual machine files are going to be saved, for example your virtual hard drive. I'd recommend putting these on like some sort of external drive, just because if you have a lot of them like I do, they can definitely add up in space. But uh, that's just a suggestion, you can pretty much put them wherever you want though. Uh, next under type, leave that as Microsoft Windows, and version, leave that as Windows XP 32-bit. Under memory size, by default it sets it as 192 megabytes, and that should be okay for Windows XP. But you can bump that up up to probably like a gig, which is 1024 megabytes. I'm going to go in the middle and just uh, set it as 512 megabytes, which should be more than enough to run Windows XP. Under hard disk, I'm going to choose create a virtual hard disk now and then click on create. Now it's going to ask us to pick a size for our virtual hard disk. Now by default, it sets it as 10 gigabytes and that should be enough, but you can make this larger if you would like. Under hard disk file type, make sure that's set as VDI, and under storage on physical hard disk, choose dynamically allocated, and click on create. And that's going to exit out of the window and it's going to create our virtual machine. So now go ahead and click on the start button to start our virtual machine. So our virtual machine is going to start and it's going to ask us to select a startup disk, and you're just going to want to click on the folder icon here and select the ISO file we downloaded earlier. And remember, I put it on my desktop, so just open it here, and then click on Open, and then click on Start. And now that's going to start the Windows XP installation setup. And now it's just gonna take a minute to get things ready. Okay, so now it's gonna ask us to select a hard disk. So here we only have our 10 gigabytes from our virtual hard disk we created earlier. So go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Now using the arrow keys, go up to the top and select format the partition using the NTFS file system quick and then hit enter. Now that's going to format our hard disk. And now it's going to do a quick disk check and now it's gonna copy over all of the required set of files. So this might take a minute, so I'll cut the video here and be right back when this is done. So now your virtual machine is going to restart and it's gonna ask you to press any key to boot from a CD. Do not press any key, just wait it out and then you'll see that the Windows XP start screen will appear and it's going to continue with the Windows XP installation. And now here, this is the Windows XP installation screen, and it's just gonna pretty much 
do the installation process on its own. The only thing is here and there a couple pop-ups will uh, come up so make sure you are there to pretty much go through them. Okay, so here's our first pop-up and it's uh, just going to set up our language and uh, regional options. So just, just click on next here and then you're going to want to give it kind of, uh, it's kind of sort of like an administrator account. You can pretty much put in whatever name you want. So let's call it the how to guy123 and under organization I'll just write YouTube. Doesn't really matter what you put in and click on next. Then it's going to uh, ask you to give it a computer name and a password. I'm just going to hit next, leave those blank. Now it's going to ask you to pick a time zone. So once you do that, click on next. And now it's going to continue with the installation process. But a couple more pop-ups will come up. So make sure, once again, that you're there to go through with them. All right, so here's our second pop-up. And this is just going to set up a work group and computer uh, domain. So uh, here it's going to, you're going to want to select no, this computer is not on a network and you're just going to want to give it a work group name. You can once again call this whatever you want. So we'll call this tutorial. So just hit, uh, once you enter a work group name, just hit next. And now it's going to continue with the installation. I believe that's the last pop-up. I might be wrong there. All right, so once again, our virtual machine is going to restart. Now make sure you do not press any key to boot from the CD and just let it pass. And then you'll see the Windows XP start screen once again. And now it's going to just adjust our um, visual elements and screen resolution. So just go ahead and click OK and then OK again. And then just go ahead and let it load. So then you'll see this little introduction screen here and then uh, after this we're going to go ahead and set up our Windows XP. So just go ahead and click on next. You'll know, hear a little bit of background music. I'm not sure if there's a way to turn that off, but just go ahead and click next. Then here you can pretty much select whichever one you want to help protect your PC. I mean, it's not like we're going to be getting any security updates anymore. So I'm just going to use the help protect my PC by turning on automatic updates now and then click on next. Now it's going to try and connect our virtual machine to the internet. So just give it a minute. And now it's going to ask you, will this computer connect? to the internet directly or through a network, just choose yes, this computer will connect through a local area network or home network. And then click next, and then click no to register with Microsoft, then click next. Now this is where you'll set up your user accounts, so I'm just going to set up one, we'll just call it the how to guy123, then click on next, and then finish. And that should bring us to our desktop. So now you'll hear the classic Windows XP logon sound and just give it a mail to load onto your desktop. It's just loading all of your settings. Uh, just bear with me guys, my microphone just cut out um, during recording this part. So I'm just recording this after the fact. Uh, so yeah, just give this a minute to load. And there we go, you see that we are now on our desktop and it's just loading a couple more things, getting things optimized and that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing I would recommend is installing VirtualBox Guest Editions, which will pretty much install a couple necessary drivers and like uh, video card drivers and it will allow you to actually full screen your virtual machine. So all you gotta do is go up to Devices and then click on Install VirtualBox Guest Editions and that will pretty much instantly bring up the installer and just click Next, Next, Next. Let it install. Uh, should take about a minute. And now it's going to ask you to reboot your virtual machine. Just click Finish and then you'll hear the classic log off sound and just give it a minute to restart your virtual machine and there you go now we're instantly back onto our desktop and now if you try to full screen it just go up to the top and click on view and then full screen you should be able to 
use your virtual machine in full screen mode. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial. If this helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.